No Roads Here, Core Blends Alberta is a, a, a new kind of exhibition that we haven't done before at Glenbow. It's kind of fun. Um, Core Blend, we asked him to come in and be artist in residence at Glenbow for 2012. Having a musician coming in to do an exhibition is kind of a, an interesting way of having a new perspective on the, on the stuff that Glenbow holds. We have over a million artifacts and bringing someone new in who doesn't have a sort of a, a, a knowledge already of what's there he got to explore and, and play and find some really great stuff that meant something to him personally. Corb's father was a veterinarian and uh, so he has a, a personal interest in the idea of, of animal care and, and the story Horse Doctor Come Quick is about um, not just medicine for animals but uh, reappropriating <laughs> the medicines for other uses. When Corbland came into the museum to do this project, he didn't know what he wanted to do. Um, and he explored the museum and he went behind the scenes and saw the collection. And he decided that he wanted to do an exhibition, um, which has never been done before. So Corb comes from four generations of a uh, ranching family that they've sort of made their way in the Alberta foothills. Ian Tyson has loaned us his hat generously. <laughs> he and Corb Lund are, are great friends and, and often play together. And so uh, Ian Tyson's hat is right here in the Glenbow. It's kind of cool. He has a, a huge personal connection to the history of Alberta. And so when he was back in the collections uh, looking through all the cool stuff, he found pieces of it that related to his own story and to his own music. Corblen's song Five Dollar Bill is about that story, the, the idea of, of prohibitionists and smugglers. Um, the crazy accoutrement on the wall, that's an actual still which you would use to, to make your own whiskey at home. What they ended up doing, um, they decided to base the exhibition around Corblen's music. So they picked nine songs from his back catalogue each that sort of told a, a personal story, but also a story about Alberta history. Another crazy thing that Corb found in the art in the collection is uh, our little canary cage. Um, of course, everyone sort of heard of the canary in the coal mine, and miners would actually take little canisters like this with a live bird down into the mines. And if the bird died, that was a bad sign, and that meant that all the guys had to get out because there were gases in the air that were toxic. He actually went through and, and pulled out objects and artifacts, brought stuff in from his own family, photographs. He found family members' photographs in the archives at Glenbow. Alberta is that one of those crazy places where, we, if, especially if you're born here or if you come here and you've lived here for a long time, there's a, an energy here and a spirit here that is not like other places. And, and trying to dig into that and figure out what makes us tick. And there's so much rich history that I think we take for granted a lot of the time. And Corb is one of those people who who pulls the thread and, and tries to discover things that we haven't heard before.